What's up? It's your big brother, Trend Genius. You are tuned in once again to the famous Living Realm Network. Divine powers are always working for us because we do right. Man, you are about to watch a really exclusive video um, because Star Seeds, we are about to hit 111,000 subscribers today. Okay, only thing we need is 10 more subscribers, and we will have the milestone of hitting 111,000 subscribers. I want to say thank y'all out there so much for sharing my videos and supporting me for all these years. Make sure that at the end of this video, you even share this video because in this video, I'm about to give you six signs they are hating on you in plain sight. Yes, you, okay? You tuned into the correct video. Um, see, now the thing about haters that you gotta understand is like, I'm not making this video for you to like give your energy and your attention to haters, all right? I'm just simply making this video to give you the signs that they are hating on you in plain sight so that you can be aware, okay? So that you can know who these Decepticons are, okay? And one thing you must know about haters is they'll tell you what you want to hear, but their behavior shows otherwise, okay? You can always tell somebody, you know, and who they are based on their actions, you know what I'm saying? Their actions speak louder than their words, okay? So in this video, I'm about to point out all the signs that they've been hating on you in plain sight, and you probably have no idea that they hating on you, okay? The longer you let these people stick around you and, the, and take your energy, the more they will continuously take your energy and they will use you. They will leech off you. They will stick around you until you are able to detect that they are a Decepticon and distance yourself away from them, okay? Star Seeds constantly co-creating our own reality. Listen. Stay tuned to the end of this video, okay? Since this is a very special video today, 111,000 subscribers, um, I got something very special I want to give y'all at the end of this video if you got haters, all right? So, this is the first sign that they hating on you in plain sight, all right? It's so easy, so obvious. One moment they be your best friend, and then the next day they brand new. You ever have people like that that come in and at your life, you know, um, you know, one moment they your best friend, and then all of a sudden they brand new. Can't even get in contact with them. Don't know where they at, all right? Now... Another thing you got to understand about these haters, they come in all different shapes, forms, uh, colors, brown, green, blue, white, black, cousin, family members, next door neighbors, teachers, colleagues, sisters, brothers, mama, daddy. It don't matter. A hater is a hater, period. Okay? It's in their blood. They are born to hate. All right? And so what they will do is... One day they'll try to play that they like your best friend. It's, it's like, you know, y'all like, y'all like but Betsy's or whatever. And then all of a sudden, it's like they just go brand new on you. They change up. They, they switch their whole mood up. You know, you know why they're doing this, right? Because they're taking your energy from you. All right. And what they do is they'll come in, they'll come in your life. And they'll try to get some information. They want to be nosy. They want to see how much progress you done made. They want to see uh, who you dating and all this stuff. And then they'll just completely just go away from you and not never, never talk to you again for like weeks or days. You know what I mean? They come around you for a little bit because they want to learn your moves. All right? They want to see the cards in your hand. You know? And what the thing is, the reason why they leave and they come and go is because they jealousy is not going to allow them to really be around you that long. All right. You're probably wondering, like, why these people like why they don't you know, why my friend don't never really like be around like, you know, like a real true friend. That's because she probably jealous of you. Her jealousy. OK, her jealousy don't allow her to be in your your aura that long because, you know, it, it, it bothers her. You know, it bothers her. It makes her feel some kind of way. So what they try to do is they try to be in your life today. And then the next thing you know, they go M.I.A. And you be wondering, like, why, why they acting wishy-washy? Like, why they acting like two-faced? You know what I'm saying? Like, that's because they are they are hating on you in plain sight. OK, it's so obvious that it's not even obvious. You know what I mean? Only if you got the eyes to see, you will understand the, the way that they acting is on some hateration type of shit. You know what I mean? They on some Decepticon type shit. Okay? Another sign that they hating on you in plain sight is they use that number one weapon that they always try to use to get up under your skin. 
And y'all know what that is. That's ignoring you. Okay. This is a hater's number one weapon to get up under your skin. They want to ignore you. All right. And they do it intentionally. All right. You ever had a group of people around and they was just all talking? You know, all, the, all, all your friends were talking or you were around some of your family members and all of them just talking or whatever. Or you got the colleagues at the job, they're all talking, but they're not talking to you, though. They ain't saying nothing to you. Matter of fact, they try not to even look at you. OK, they doing all this because they hating on you in plain sight. They act like they talking about something really interesting, really exciting, like in front of you. You can see them doing it like you see them doing it. You know, you you can see a friend just throwing a hat with a friend and just she just doing all these little extra antics. They just try to make you feel jealous. You know what I mean? They trying to make you feel bad about yourself because you're not talking to them and they, they you're not involved in the conversation like they talking to each other, okay? See, they doing all this hating. It's in plain sight, okay? I remember I was at this restaurant the other, the other night and I was sitting beside this group of girls. It was like six girls, right? And they was all around this fire, this little fire pit thing. And I couldn't help but to notice it because it's like you got six girls over here and they were real loud too. They were real loud. And so I couldn't help but to keep noticing them because they just... They, they doing too much. They doing too much. So I noticed this one girl of all the six girls got this her boyfriend with her. Because obviously it was with his boyfriend. I mean, her boyfriend. Because she was all up on him kissing and hugging him. I mean, she could not get off of this dude. This dude was like chilling. He wasn't doing that. She was just all on him. And, you know, all the other girls were just around just looking at her. And I'm just like saying to myself, I'm like, why is she doing this knowing that her friends are around her watching this? You know, this is supposed to be a group thing going on. I mean, I ain't being nosy or nothing, but like I said, it was it was so obvious. I couldn't help but to, like, notice it. You know what I'm saying? But, see, that's how it is when people be hating on you in plain sight. You know what I'm saying? She probably was probably envious or jealous of some of her friends, so she probably was trying to get back at all her friends by just being up on her, her guy while they was all together out having this dinner date. You see what I'm saying? You see the little games they play? They try to ignore you. OK, to try to get up under your skin. All right. You probably wonder why you never receive a phone call from certain people that say they there for you. Certain people that say they love for you. Why you why you ain't never received a gift from them? OK, on your birthday. Why they never gave you a gift or nothing like that on Christmas? Why they didn't buy you not for Christmas? OK, but they expect you to do everything for them. See, they, they trying to ignore you. OK, they don't follow up with you. They don't even know if you're living. They don't even know if you're living or not. Cause they don't really, they don't care because they don't want to, they don't want you to know that they care about you. So what they try to do is they try to ignore you in plain sight. This is what the Decepticons do. Okay. They want you to feel as though you are non-existent. You know what I mean? You are not even worth their time. They try to make you think that you're not worth their time, but all in all behind the scenes, they thinking about you. But see, they don't have the they don't have the courage to to speak to you because they hate you in plain sight. All right. Another thing they'll try to do, too, is you ever been in a conversation with people or, you know, it might be your hating ass next door neighbor. You get in a conversation with your neighbor and then all of a sudden you talking about something really important, something that you really passionate about, something that's, that you really are in, attracted to or anything. OK, you start talking about something good going on with yourself. They all of a sudden they try to change the subject. You know why they do that? Because they hating on you in plain sight. You start talking about your triumphs and all the things that, you know, you about to get the money that you made or, you know, you just hit the scratch off of some money. They will try to change the subject because they don't want you to talk good about yourself because they hating on you in plain sight. This is why they try to change the subject and talk about something negative or something like that. They don't want you to feel good about yourself. Why? Because they hate on you in plain sight, all right? These people will acknowledge everybody else but you. You ever been around some of your friends and then you you know you know you seen your friend say hey to her. She said hey to her and hey to her and hey to her and say hey everybody and whatever, but she never said hey to you. You know why? Because she hating on you in plain sight. These people are Decepticons. They Decepticons. You know what I mean? They got insecurity problems. They in, they insecure. OK, about who they are as a person. So what they do is they try to ignore you to try to get up under your skin, to try to make you feel sad or not worthy for their time. When in all actuality, they doing it just to get up under your skin. They wasting their own energy on you. OK, trying to ignore you, trying so hard not to give you an invitation. 
All right. You wonder why you don't get you don't get the invites to the to the to the parties or whatever. You probably didn't get an invite from your friend to the family to the family gathering or something like that. Anything, man. Anything. They never gonna give you an invitation to come hang out with them. And then all of a sudden you figure out that they all went out together and you didn't get no invitation. Why? Because they hating on you in plain sight. They trying to they trying to make you feel like you know they had a good time. They had a good time. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Why you didn't come? Cause y'all didn't tell me you Decepticon. Cause y'all hating on me in plain sight. They do little sneaky stuff like that. That's why I'm just telling you. Listen, this ain't for you to focus on these haters. It just for you to be aware and to know how they move through their behavior and they and their mannerisms. Okay. Another sign that they hating on you in plain sight is, man, these people cannot stand that you stand the fact that you are successful and that you making progress in your life. Ooh, that just rattles them, okay? That just disturbs their demons so much. They see you still doing good. They see you still carrying yourself in a righteous way. They, they still see that you leveling up in life. Everything seems to be going good. They see that you smiling and you look good on your Instagram and all this. Oh, they don't like that. They, they don't like that. If they find out you got a whole lot of Instagram followers or if they even see your pictures and they see a lot of people like it, I'm going to tell you, the haters in the background lurking like, uh, like, uh, think she all that, you know, look, man, he think he bad, man, he think he, he think he rich, man, he trying to act like he rich or whatever, man, I don't like that, man, I don't like that, you know what I'm saying, they, 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 they low-key lurking, watching you, and at the same time hating on you because you, they're not where you are on your level, on no level, on their level of success, this is what they do, okay? This is what they do, you know? They seeing that you doing something that you love to do. They might see that you passionate about doing hair, or they might see that you, you know, you starting up your own business, you know, uh, you, 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 you marketing and selling clothes now or whatever the case may be. They see your success. They see you coming up. But at the same time, since they have an impure heart, since they got a heart of hate, a heart of jealousy, a heart of enviousness, they spiteful. They hate the fact that you in a much better position than they are. See, and the funny thing about it, if you still tune into this video, you're not even the type of person to even think like that. You're not even thinking like that, but they do. They do, they comparing themselves to you, okay? This is why they hating on you and you don't understand why they treat you like that. Because the whole time, they looking at it from a competition perspective. They competing with you behind closed doors and you don't even know nothing about it. So when they see the fact that you becoming more successful, okay, you starting to make more money, you get into the bag quicker than them, they start throwing shade. They start throwing shade, on, they start throwing shade, okay? Why? They never want to talk about your hustle and what you got going on and how, how successful you are becoming. Why? They don't never bring it up when you go around them. Why? Why they don't never want to talk about your dream? They don't never want to talk about your goal and all the things that you are accomplishing. Why? Because they hating on you in plain sight. Where they do that at? Listen. This is what they do. This is what they do. If they've done it, you smash the thumbs up button. Smash the thumbs up button and comment below and tell me how many haters you got. Say, Trend, they be hating on me all the time. I already knew this, what you say, what you saying in this video. Just comment below right now and say, Trend, they be hating on me all the time. I need to know who got the haters out there. Because listen, if you ain't got no haters, you ain't doing something right, okay? The more haters you got, the more successful you literally are becoming, all right? And so what these haters will do is, you know, since they know that you're on the, the journey to success, they know you're going to be somebody great. They can tell that you got a high anointment on your life. They can sense your specialness, okay? What they'll try to do is they'll try to discredit you, okay? They don't want you to have no credit. They don't want you to have no, no feel-good energy, okay? So what they'll try to do is they'll try to bring up all the old stuff about you. You ever, you ever got some, some friends around you or even some close family members or whatever, and it's like every time you go around them, they don't want to talk about all the things that you're accomplishing, but they love to bring up your dark past, they love to bring up all the bad things you did. They love to talk about all your failures. They love to talk about all your mistakes and stuff like that. Why? Why do they always talk about all the negative things that you've done in your life? Because they want to make you out to be a negative person because they know you so positive and they know you so successful and you making progress and they ain't. And they hate it. It gets up under their skin. Listen, haters and Decepticons, listen, they'll hate on you in plain sight if you're in a good relationship and they ain't.
Ladies, you probably wondering why your, your friend be acting the way she be acting when you go around her with your man. Or, you know, you probably be wondering, you know, why she don't, you know, why she be treating you a certain kind of way through the texting and stuff like that. Listen, she could be hating on you, low key hating on you just because, you know, she know that you got a new man and she don't. Yeah. Yeah. Just like that. Yeah. Listen, huh? They be hating because you in a relationship. You know, people will hate on you because you got a good marriage and they don't. They still trying to find their 24 carats, okay? They trying to figure it out, but they ain't figure it out yet. So they, the only thing they can do is drain you and try to steal your energy from you by hating on you because you in a good relationship, okay? You in a good relationship, you know? They don't want to see you successful. They don't want to see you making progress in your life, all right? Now, another sign that they hating on you in plain sight is when, you, you know, they these Decepticons, they might not even know you like that. But all of a sudden, it's like they hate you for no reason. No, no reason. They, they just hate you for no reason. You can sense it because you can just see the way they treat you. You can just see it in the energy. You can feel their energy. They're hating energy. You know what I mean? They don't like you for no reason. Okay? Just think back. If you got some hating family members, just think back at all the family functions that y'all used to have when you were a little bit younger. And just think of all the little things, the little manipulative, manipulative things that people used to do. You, it'll come to your mind who was acting funny towards you. It'll come to your mind. You know, you'll remember some of the conversations you had with some of the people in your family. It'll come to your mind and then you'll start to say, oh, man, dang, man, I didn't know they was hating on me like that. You know what I mean? It'll come to you. It, it'll really come to you. You know what I mean? Um, you know, haters, what they'll try to do is they'll try to treat you unfairly. They'll try to treat you unfairly. You know, they'll, they'll treat you unfairly. They'll ask, every, any, they'll ask anybody that they want something to eat. You want something to eat? Do you want some, how, do you, do you want some, you want some of this? You want some uh, sushi? I can buy you some. I'm going to go to the store. But they won't never ask you, do you want some sushi? They try to make sure. See, what they, they play little games. They play little mind games with you, okay? Like I said, they want you to feel left out because they know you all in. I'm going to say that one more time. They want you to feel like you are nobody and like you are left out because they, uh, they already know that you all in, baby. You in it to win it, okay? And they know that. So they try to they try to make you feel like you're not important. OK, that's one of their biggest things that they try to do. They try to hate on you for no apparent reason. You know what I mean? They these people, these people can sense the fact that you have really good energy. OK, they can sense that you have a big aura. They can sense it. They can feel it. And so since that is all that positive energy is hitting them and it's disturbing all them demons inside them. That's why they hate you for no reason. That's why they don't like you for no reason, because they can sense all that good energy coming off of you and it's disturbing them. It's the, it disturbs them to see you so happy and they don't know how to be like that. It disturbs them. OK, they are Decepticons. OK, they deceive you. They are smiling your face. They are smiling your face. They'll clap for you and everything. But behind that smile is hate. It's hate. As soon as you get up and walk to the bathroom, they're going to start talking about you behind your back. Hating. That's how they do. These are Decepticons. Listen, six signs they are hating on you. All right. Make sure you subscribe to my channel after this video. Stay tuned to the end. I got something very special for you. Listen, I'm telling the truth. Listen, another thing they like to do, another the, the uh, fifth sign they hating on you in plain sight is, you know, only thing they like to talk about when you get in a conversation with them is they like to talk about your flaws. They only want to talk about all the they only want to talk about all the things that's going wrong in your life. If you got a friend that you talk to every day or every other day and every time y'all get in a discussion about anything and it's always about them talking about all the things that's going wrong in your life, they hating on you. OK, they don't want to make like I said, they don't want you to feel like you're doing any good. OK, these people probably hating on you because they feel like you're getting away from them. OK. Because you about to blow up, you know, you about to do something real, you know, special, like real big. And so they don't want you to blow up because if you blow up, that means they're not going to be in your life the way that they want to be in your life. So what they try to do is they try to slow you down and they try to slow down everything that's happening for you by talking about everything that's happening to you. 
Okay, all the negative stuff that's happening to you, they they like they love to discuss if you got out of out of a relationship with somebody. They love to discuss a breakup. Yeah, don't tell them about the new man or or the new woman that you got or nothing like that. But they will be more than glad to talk about how the breakup happened. Yeah, they'll 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 be they'll love to talk about how you feel a little bit upset about the breakup. Real quick, they'll talk about that. They'll be the first one. Me? <laughs> yeah, I agree with you. Yeah, he ain't no good, was he? He ain't no good. She happy because you ain't in a relationship with nobody. Because you back in square one, just like her. You back at ground zero, just like her. Yeah, that's what they do, you know? These people will try to tell you how to spend your own money. That's how you know another person. That's how you know a person hating on you. If you get into the bag, if you get in money, okay? These haters know that you get in money, all right? So what they'll try to do is they, they love control. See, they, they, the whole thing is all about control. They'll tell you why, why, where you should spend your money at and how you should spend your money. They think they, they think they your accountant. If you give them enough power over you and enough control over you, I swear they'll, try, they'll start telling you what to buy and what not to buy. Yeah. Okay. They hating on you and they do it, they do it so subliminally, but at the same time, it's in plain sight. Okay, if you don't got no job, they love to talk about how you don't got no job. You need a job. You need to get a job. You need to get a job. You need to get a job. You know what I'm saying? Why, why, why is it so important for you to tell me that I need to get a job? Okay, they hating on you in plain sight. They worried about you. They worried about where you going. In your, they worried about what you doing. They worried about who you with. You know what I mean? They worried about where you going. You know what I mean? But they low key hating on you. You know, why they asking you all this in, about all your information and stuff like that. You better not have no new outfit on because they're going to say something about the outfit don't look right. You show, you put some new shoes on and you got a nice little outfit or something like that. You know, you might rock it out with some new jewelry or something like that. They're going to say something about it. Is them diamonds real? You know, them ain't no real diamonds in that thing, boy. Let me see. What's them? VVS is them real? Them ain't no real diamonds. Them cubits are real, ain't they? <laughs> No cubies are, they hating. They hating. They hating. You know what I'm saying? They'll try to point out any little, small, little flaw in your outfit. Okay? Ladies, if your hair get done and nails, they're going to say something don't look right about your nails. That color is, I don't really like that color like that. Why you don't like that color? I don't know. I think you should have got neon pink or something. She hating. She hating. She just hating. She hating. The nails is new. Hers ain't. You feel what I'm saying? So I'm just telling y'all, man, y'all got to be aware, man. Y'all got to be aware, man, of these people. And once again, you got, you'll you know them by their behavior, the way they treat you. Not what they say. Not what they say. Just pay close attention to the way they treat you. Pay close attention to how often they in your life. All right? That's another sign that you can use to detect these Decepticons that's hating on you in plain sight. Just look at how often they in your life. All right? Also, look at the blessings that they've given you. Have you received any blessings? Have you received any type of favor from them? You know what I mean? Have you received any type of gift from them? Have they gave you any type of money or anything to try to support your cause or, you know, just for the hell of it? Have they done anything special for you? If the answer to that question is no, and you've been wondering, like, why I don't never get no recognition from this person? You know, why my husband don't recognize that, you know, I'm, I'm trying to become my own boss as a woman. Why he don't recognize it? Because he hating the fact that you about to be a boss of your own business and he not. Your own husband can hate on you. It could be anybody. Like I said, these people come in many different forms. Black, white, Spanish, tan, you know, anything, okay? Anything, anybody, neighbors, friends, cousins, anybody can be a hater, okay? Know them by their actions, not by what they say. Now, I told y'all, if you stay tuned to the end of my video, if this video resonated with you, first of all, make sure you give it a thumbs up and do not leave this video without comment below and letting me know if you got haters. Do you have haters? Comment below and let me know. And give me another sign that somebody's hating on you, something that I didn't mention. Just comment below another sign that you've experienced personally that just pointed out that people are hating on you. Make sure you comment below. Now, if you stay tuned to the end of this video, like I said, 111,000, we made it. Make sure you share this video with one of your friends if it resonated with you and if you got haters, okay? Now, for all of my real true supporters out there, yes, I finally have 
an approved OnlyFans page, okay? Inside my OnlyFans, I'm going to be giving raw, unscripted, unlisted content because y'all know YouTube don't let you... Don't let you say what you really truly want to say when it comes down to law of attraction and, you know, uh, me giving y'all these these gems, these diamonds and these worlds of wisdom. You know what I mean? So if you want to be a part of my OnlyFans, all right, it's going to be real in there. If you want to be a part of my new OnlyFans, just click that link, okay? Click that link in the comment section. It's going to be in the comment section. It's going to say, Trend Genius Only Fans. Click that link and become a part of my Only Fans. I'm going to be giving out free books in there, all kind of perks that I don't do here on YouTube. I'm going to be giving it out to Only Fans, only real true supporters out there who've been rocking with me up until 111,000 subscribers. All right. Now, also, if you want to be connected with like minded individuals like yourself, chosen people like yourself, star seeds, and you don't have anybody out here to connect with in your personal life, you need to connect on the throne room chat room. Okay. If you're not in the throne room chat room, you missing out. Okay. We having big discussions in there. Every single day, make sure you join the own room chat room, which is also going to be in the comment section. Click that link. It says throne room chat room. And it's like minded individual that's just like you and just like me. All right. Now, I know y'all sweating me with this new success shirt on. I've been rocking this thing, man. Everywhere I go, people be looking at me crazy like, I wonder who is that dude right there. He must be somebody special. He got a success shirt on. <laughs> yeah, I'll be rocking it. I'm gonna rock it when I go out today. I know they're gonna be sweating. But if you want one of these success shirts, you can get them in all different kind of colors. Um, just click the link below once again in the comment section. Super inexpensive. It feels good to know that you are wearing the success nutritional facts gear. All right. Make sure you go get you a shirt today so you can rock it in this new year 2021 thank y'all so much for tuning in all my new supporters out there if you like this video and you know you got some haters make sure you share this video and subscribe right there by clicking my face icon wherever you see my face click my face i'm trend genius welcome to the channel check out one of these other videos right here in the meantime they both rocking in the meantime we ain't stopping if you ain't got no haters you ain't doing nothing peace